I'm so thrilled that you guys are joining me for my daily hike. There's a reason why I want to bring you along when thinking about it. I feel that a lot of things are going on in my life right now. I'm at a crossroads. I'm feeling a big shift. And since the first of last year, I've been drawn to nature. And luckily, I have this little hike right in my backyard. So I wanted to share it with you to see if you could feel it through me, through this video. And that's why I'm holding you in my hands. So instead of a tripod, bring you in a little more intimate, intimately here. This is our fun little trail. It's right next to a freeway, so it's pretty meaningful that we go from noise of the city, which I can't believe I still live in LA, to, here we go, climbing the steps. To the quiet sounds of nature and the one thing about this shift that I've been feeling is I feel that I have I feel my purpose in this life is really coming to the forefront and I feel it strongly that for somehow, some reason, I'm connected with healing and through nature somehow. I've been drawn to remote energy healing, which it's very simple. All it is is visualization of healing. I feel that our bodies are strong enough and feel that we're powerful enough to heal ourselves. And what's really neat about that is I've been drawn to uh, craving for a little while now. Bear with me as I grab the mountain. Clean organic foods and juicing, I juice every night. Have my kids doing it too. And when I'm without it for a little while, I start really craving it. Really. Here we go, kid. Come with me. You're going to feel your body being oxygenated. Right on. Come with me. And right now I'm doing um, this paleo diet thing just cutting out the grains and and the wheat the bread the pastas so meat and veggies fruit smoothies juicing and my body feels 100% so this is something that I like to do every day now climb up here and one thing that I've really uh, come to is this is the year then I'm going to make a dream happen. This is a year that you'll see the freeway behind me. Crazy, huh? Can't believe I still live in LA, but I feel like I'm here for a reason. So, I've had this dream. I'm an adventure motorcyclist, so. I like to go out on solos because there's something called helmet time. It's a meditative state that we motorcyclists get into when we're out on the road for a long time, multiple days. And actually it's even better once weeks get under your belt. And what happens is you unplug. You unplug from these worry loops that we're so good at playing. These little recordings of how you think your life is going. Look at these stairs. With this helmet time, 
you start to disengage with that. And you shut off the anxiety and you start to just be. And it feels really good. One thing about adventure motorcycling is you get to be in nature. There are multiple day tracks oftentimes. The way I like to do it, since I have kids, I have two kids, Alana 13, Dimitri 10, and I've been doing this since, uh, since 08. Now, they're used to mom heading out, but I can only be away for three weeks at the most. I can't be away from my kids longer than that. So, guess what I've decided to do? I'm taking them with me on the road. And it really solidified it this year when Alana came to me and said, Mommy, I don't like school. I don't like school anymore. And I said, good, good, Angel. Now do something about it. I said, what do you want education to do for you? And she thought about it. She became responsible for what she wanted out of it. And we both ended up talking about being world schooled. And that's getting my kids out on the road and touching history for themselves. We did it. We did it, guys. Now the next uh, thing we do here Take off the shoes. All right. So now the kids want to be homeschooled on the road. And I can't wait. I can't wait to do this for them and for me. We already have friends of ours out on the road. Adventure Trio, baby. We love you. It's a mother and father, Sandy and Terry Borden, taking their 13-year-old son, Jack, out on the road. They went south. They went south. That's where we plan on going. Anyway, you're wondering why I'm taking off my shoes. So for the past year, I've been drawn to not only nature, <laughs> but feeling it. I'm really sensitive to energy and I'm gonna carry my shoes in this hand and I feel it I feel it in people I feel it in words pictures I feel it through my through my own words so I absolutely love to write and I'm working with adventure motorcycle magazine I also have a column with Midwest Motorcyclist because I want to get the words out. I feel I love, love people and I feel this connection that really connects me with them. And that's what adventure motorcycling is all about for me, but it can be done in any kind of travel it can be done through reading books, feeling a connection with others. When you start traveling outside of your own country, you feel this. At least I do. And will, I can imagine it. I haven't been able to do it yet on a motorcycle, but it's, it's breaking down the barriers, the separation that we feel all over the world. I think it's so ridiculous. All the politics the governments. When you travel, you find out we're all just one. We all have the same basic needs and want the best for our children and our families. And we all have a common thread, a common thread of love and laughter. Everyone loves to laugh no matter what, what the language is. <clears throat> and I feel that <clears throat> with the bike, I feel that my bike is a needle and I'm the thread and we're weaving this tapestry as we become one out in the world with <clears throat> nature, people, 
and destinations. It's pretty, pretty fun and exciting. Anyway, we have these fabulous hills. This barefoot thing that I'm doing, it's called grounding. And I can actually feel the energy of the earth under my feet. My feet vibrate. It's been, my feet have been vibrating for about six, six years. And if you'll breathe with me on these tracks, maybe one day you'll feel it in your body when you take deeper breaths, pulling in not only air and oxygen, but I feel that it's energy. And I'm using the word energy. You can replace it with whatever makes you feel comfortable. It's just a feeling. All I know is I feel physical sensations that are proof to me that something is happening. You can see the nice little canyon where we live right behind me. And hopefully you won't be able to hear the freeway anymore. <clears throat> so what I do when I get to the top is I find my favorite tree, this pine tree, and I lie down on the earth. And I just close my eyes, take a little nap, quiet my mind and listen to the wildlife. It's beautiful up here. And I really love doing this every day. And it's helped me. It's helped balance me. In this hectic world of ours, you know, everyone's suffering from depression and health issues. I'm going to share something wild that I've been doing recently. A friend of mine two years ago very intuitive, said, you need to massage yourself. And I kind of took it in half-heartedly at the time. Oh yeah, sure, massage myself. It's much more fun to have someone else do it. But two years later, today, just this week, I heard his voice say it again. But this time, it meant more to me. And I thought, okay, fine. Just in bed, from my feet. I've intuitively felt from my feet. We're going sideways, folks. Uh, I massaged myself on each side, lying sideways in the bed, all the way up to the top of my head. And all the while, just saying out loud, releasing blocks, whether they're health ish issues, just issues. We all have some. Just releasing it, releasing the crap, releasing it. Let it go. Move on. It's time to move on. And I did it on each side. I swear. So I was do I'm doing it morning and night. And I swear, the end of the, the full day, my entire head th <laughs> felt like stuff was coming out. So all I know is the physical effects. Believe whatever you want, whatever else is going on, but this is what I know. My teeth ached, my jaw ached, my head ached, everything in my head. And then by the afternoon, it was gone. And I did it again that night. The next morning, same thing. I felt an aching, an aching. And you guys. So I'm bringing you along. This is our experiment. This is our experiment. If you feel that you have things to work on or just, you know what, just see if you can find a way to get out in nature. Go to the beach. Go for a hike. Go for a walk. Take the dog. Take the kids. Take your honey. I think it helps. Anyway. But listen to your body. Don't do stuff that's too much for your body because some of the stuff that comes out <clears throat> is too much for a lot of people to handle. I suffered, I know a lot of people do, suffer from candida. I did, and uh, I think a lot of our diseases stem from that. But yeah, so 
Yeah, my dream, I'm trying to get that off the ground. Sidecar safari, taking the kids on the road. So you're gonna be along for the ride. Thanks for joining me. I'll show you the tree when I get there. Found the tree, guys. So that's my little pine tree. I love to spend time underneath it. Right there. It's a little damp today because we got rain in Southern California. Can you believe it? Oh my God. I just kissed the earth. All the plants and the lawn was just screaming. Hallelujah. Anyway. So I'm just gonna close my eyes here and take a breather. already feel it. Anyway, I wanted you guys to feel it too. And I'm wishing you the best of days whenever you watch this. Live it. Let's live it together. See you in the next time.